High fire signs, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to do a Halloween special, and in the tradition of Halloween and Halloween, the spirit of Halloween, guys, we're going to take a look at and see what is it that your person, what is it that they are afraid to tell you? So what is it that they want to share with you, but they're scared, they're afraid to do so for whatever reason. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So with all of that being said, let's give the cards a shuffle and see what is it that your person is afraid to tell you. Don't you just think this is adorable? Okay, the hangman. Okay, uh, I'm getting strong indication of okay secrets being kept from you. There's definitely something that you deserve to know and you should know. And when you do find this out, it's going to alter. Okay, it's going to alter events and it's going to poss possibly change how you feel about this person or how you see them. Okay, so there's something here that you deserve to know. But guess what? This person is holding information back from you because... Ultimately, they are scared. They're scared of how you're going to react. They're scared of you might possibly perceiving them um, to be someone whom, you know, other than who you thought they were. They're definitely, it's an energy. I feel like they know that what they're holding back, they probably should tell you. Okay. Um, and what is that? Well, there's a strong, I feel like your person is not as honest as you think they are or as you want them to be there's a strong indication of a third party situation here especially with the devil's energy it can sometimes also represent an ex so your person may still be involved with their ex they may still be in love with their ex or somehow still attached they may still be communicating with the ex without you necessarily knowing even if you do know this maybe you just don't know how um how serious or just how involved they are still in each other's lives and that there may still be possible romantic feelings there um i'm also yeah i feel like your person is committed some of you are in a third party situation and you do not know of this okay so this is news to you but your person is holding this information back so they're crushing on you or they're wanting to make a move towards you when they're married or they're attached to someone else they possibly even have children with someone else okay um family children pets here and they don't want you knowing because if you'll know this you'll pull away so you know they don't want you lose you they don't want to lose you in that regard so they're keeping the you know they're keeping secrets here yeah for others for some of you involved for those of you that are involved with someone and you're aware that this is a third party situation your person might be telling you that they are not necessarily attached um, or they don't have strong feelings for their, you know, their partner, their current partner here, um, or they're soon to be ex-wife or ex-husband or ex-girlfriend, boyfriend. So they tell you one thing, but deep down inside, let me tell you that deep down inside, there's still a very strong attachment. They may tell you that they leave their ex or they'll leave their girlfriend or, you know, their boyfriend here. Why haven't they done that yet? Why is it that they keep telling you that, but they've not done that yet? Okay, be careful because words lie. That's why you have to watch what people do, watch their actions here. So essentially, it's their way of trying to keep you, trying to get you to stay, okay, by telling you things that you want to hear rather than things that you actually deserve to hear. So, and for some of you, I feel like, you're kind of aware, you're kind of aware that what they're telling you is a fabrication of a truth or at the very least a version of it, but you want to stay because yes, it's a very addictive kind of energy. You guys are very, you know, attracted to one another, a strong sexual energy that's present here with the devil. Um, so there's obviously, you know, you're lusting, you're infatuated with one another, you're crazy about one another, obsessed, intoxicated, consumed. I get it, but your person is telling you 
Your person is telling you things that you want to hear, not things that you need to hear. Now, the, now or that you deserve to hear. The other thing is, I don't see your person taking any action, especially if they are still attached or if they're in a relationship with someone else. So say, for instance, if they're married or in a partnership or, you know, if they're still talking to the ex, I don't see them taking any action. It's almost like they're waiting for you to react to the situation so they could turn around and be careful because I feel like maybe your person as well... Because there's quite a domineering kind of energy with the devil. And I feel like when you react to a situation, I feel like sometimes the person throws it back at you. Almost like you're making this stuff up in your head. And, you know, it's you who's blowing things out of proportion. They have a way of manipulating, emotionally manipulating you or manipulating the situation. So just be careful. Now, the other thing that I'm picking up on is that your person does have certain things that I feel like they're scared to reveal to you. Okay, they do have certain, there is that third party situation that's coming up strongly, so that's one thing, but there's also some sort of, remember how I said if they're attached and they keep telling you that they'll leave their partner or their girlfriend or soon to be, you know, ex-wife, husband, um, and it keeps them, you know, it's it keeps them staying, what keeps them staying is there's, there's a sense of fear, I feel like, your person is scared to pull away from this ex or you know their current partner they're scared because to them they're very much attached there's such a strong sense of familiarity there even if they do feel like it's not a very healthy relationship so underneath underneath all of this not wanting to walk away from this person is a symptom the root of the symptom is that there's a lot of fears and anxieties with this person's energy that they need to be addressed that they need to address. However, your person is not necessarily telling you what's really going on with them. I feel like there's so much, they, they could fear commitment, they could have really anxious attachment styles, but they're not telling you, they're not communicating this to you. Maybe they're not completely aware of it themselves, I don't know. Um, I'm also seeing that there's something here that you're not seeing, or this person is, the way that they're sort of making things out to be the way that they sort of orchestrating things it's very hard for you to see some for you to see it it's very hard for you to see the truth um you know the the actuality of what's going on the blindfold with the two of swords here tells me that your person is not ready if your person has to make some sort of a decision here or some sort of an ultimatum here that you're asking them to choose your person's not ready to do that and instead of communicating to you you know what scares them and what they're afraid to do, they're afraid to make a choice or a decision. Instead of communicating that to you, they're sort of stalling things. Okay, they keep telling you that one day this will happen, one day this, you know, this will happen, one day they'll do this, one day, one day, one day. But that day never comes around. And I, maybe that's what you're not seeing. Okay, so you need to make sure that you're looking at the situation and seeing what's really there and not necessarily what you want to see here. Okay? Because look, I do I, I do have, feel like this person has feelings for you, but they also have feelings for this other person. And it's like, well, you know, two is a uh, company, three is a crowd, and three distorts the balance, the equilibrium. You know, you don't want to be the third wheel here, do you? So they tell you they'll give you commitment, but I don't see them willing or able to do that just yet for you. Purely because they're still very attached to their situation. Even if it's not healthy, it's familiar. Okay, it's established, it's safe, it's comfortable in a way. They're scared to take that leap of faith. They're scared to take the plunge with you. Okay, even if it's not a third party situation there may still be some sort of attachment to the ex where they it's not necessarily that they're attached to the ex, they just may be attached to certain emotions that the ex caused them or that relationship caused them. But they're scared. They're scared of moving forward. They are. They fear moving forward with you. This is why they're stalling things. This is why they're delaying things. This is why your person keeps always saying, you know, one day this will happen or one day they will do this. And it's like, next week, next month, a year later, and you're still in, 
you know, you're still where you started. So some of you, I feel like, need to take the blindfold off and really look at things with, like, a fresh perspective. All right, guys, and these are your messages. So thanks, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, commenting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to um, connect. Otherwise, uh, I will be sharing with you more Tarot Love messages, so stay tuned. And, guys, I want to wish you all a very... Happy and safe Halloween.